Okay, so I've been getting a lot of dealers on LinkedIn and phone calls now saying, okay, I get it. Um, paid search isn't doing what I think it should do, but what else could I do? All right, well, that's a legitimate question. Well, let, let's, let's talk about what else it is that you can do. So what I want you to do is, do you have, do you have a pen handy? I'll wait. Put this on pause right now, get a pen, and then come back, okay? All right, you're back, here we go. All right, so here's what you can do. Let's say, for example, that um, you have a website that has 10,000 monthly unique visitors, right? Let's say you've got 10,000 monthly unique visitors. And from those 10,000 monthly unique visitors, let's say that you get 200 leads, right? You get 200 leads, um, which by the way, is simply your 2% conversion rate from those 10,000 monthly unique visitors. So you get 200 leads, right? Hope you're writing this down. Now, out of those 200 leads, you get 20 sales, right? Because you've got a 10% lead to sale close rate, right? So 200 leads, 20 sales. Fantastic, right? So what you could do is you could do LGD. Over here, we're gonna talk about S E M. Right now, LGD. We'll come back to what that is in a minute. So what you could do, and by the way, Mr. Dealer, you know you can do this because you've done it a million times. Um, inspect what you expect. Encourage lead, have somebody do something, right? So what you could do is you could go into your BDC, your internet department, and say this number here is no longer acceptable. In June, I want that to be 11%, right? So you're gonna move from 10 and you're gonna go to 11%. This is what you want in June. You want an 11% lead to sale rate, close ratio. So it's just a 10% bump. And the way you do that, of course, is you show up in the internet department morning, midday, and in the afternoon, inspecting what you expect, talk to the leaders there, talk to your sales managers, but every single day you're coaching that team to do that. What's gonna happen? You're gonna go then from your 200 leads, from 20 sales, of course, at 10%, to 22 sales at 11%. Or you've got a gain of two deals, right? You got a gain of two deals um, and average gross at $2,000 front and back. You've now done, then moved the needle four grand. You are responsible for going, you were responsible. You went into the inner department, you moved the, the needle from 10% to 11% in terms of lead to sale rate with your existing 200 leads. And you are responsible for a gain of $4,000 in gross in the store. That's what you did. Or, or you can hand over cash to your search engine marketing company, right? So let's go over here. So let's say over here that you're spending $5,000, right, $5,000 in SEM spend, right? And by the way, this is net dollars, right? These are net dollars. This is long after gross taxes, all the other expenses. So in reality, even if you had a world-class operational store that's operating at 60 plus percent, in reality, this is about eight grand gross. That's giving you the benefit of all doubt in the world, right? But in reality, eight grand gross to get five grand net. Okay, so you're spending that money. Now, at the best case, $2 cost per click, right? $2 cost per click. If you spent that money, sorry about the, sorry about the penmanship. If you spent that money, you're looking at 2,500 incremental visits on your website. Now, the reality is this is going to cannibalize all organic traffic, but let's forget about that. Let's just assume this was 2,500 new visitors that never would have visited your site, were in your market, interested in your brand, wouldn't have found you otherwise, and you spent this money and you drove those visits. At the 2% conversion rate, what's that gonna be? 50 leads, right? So now you got 50 leads, fantastic, and with that same 10% close ratio, you go from 50 leads to five deals. So you've got five deals, cool. And at $2,000 front and back gross, that's 10 grand gross. So your, your $10,000 gross, right? So your SEM provider would go, woohoo, you spent five grand, we got you 10 grand gross. No, hang on a second, Charlie. Five grand is actually $8,000 in gross dollars. So let's subtract that spend, right? Subtract the spend of $8,000 gross. And now you've got $2,000 in gross dollars, not 10,000, 
right? So you got 2,000. So you tell me which number is bigger, this one at $4,000 or this one at $2,000. And by the way, if you stop spending this and just did that, you would be up four plus eight. You'd be up a lot of money. Oh, by the way, what is this? You know what this is? You spend money on search engine marketing. What this is, is the answer to what dealers say, hey, what else should I do? I know I don't wanna do paid search anymore, but what else can I do? Here's what you can do, what you know how to do. Lead, guide, direct. Lead, guide, and direct that organization, and you can get rid of that spend. Peace.